Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the Potted Geraniums bundle. I have to admit that this bundle wasn't on my radar right away, but I had a lot of people requesting that I use this and uh, show different ways to use it. So I did, and boy, I'm so glad I did. I love this set. Um, we're gonna make our geraniums by stamping today, but you also have options with the dies. Um, really, it's just a, a, a nice set, and I think that uh, you could get a lot of use out of it. So I actually had to search, I had to Google to see what color geraniums come in, um, mostly pinks and reds, it seems like. Here where I live, geraniums are one of the things we can grow. It's very hot in South Texas, <laughs> but geraniums seem to do pretty good. And I knew off the top of my head that those were the colors that we needed, um, but I just wanted to make sure. So for this card, I am using um, polished pink. You guys know I love polished pink. Um, and Melon Mambo. So the card base is Melon Mambo. Um, this top layer that we're going to die cut is from the Split Texture, uh, Split Card Texture dies. And um, we're going to use that in a little while. But let's do our stamping first. So these are two-step stamps, um, which means that you're going to stamp one first and then stamp another on top of it. And when I do that, I like to use my um, Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is a stamp positioning tool. And um, there are some things, some accessories that come along with the Stamparatus that I want to make sure I point out. Um, th this is a photopolymer stamp, which means it doesn't have any cushion on it. So when you use your Stamparatus with photopolymer, you need to use this mat that it came with, okay? Uh, make sure that's there. Otherwise, there's going to be too much room uh, there for your stamping. All right, so I'm going to take my basic white and put it on here. And I am gonna start with, I like to start with the solid image first. And it's a little bit tricky what I'm gonna do here. So let me show you. Um, I'm gonna stamp off. And when you're on the stamp rat, it's a little bit tricky to do that. But all you really need is like a scrap piece of paper. So I've got another piece of grid paper that I'm gonna use. The reason we're stamping off um, on this image is because we want it lighter than the one in the front. So I'm gonna ink it with polished pink ink, put my scrap paper down, stamp it, lift it up, stamp it again, okay? So there we go, it's very light. Now I'm gonna take my top stamp that goes right on top of it and I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna have to pull it down so that I can see it and Hopefully I don't get my head in the camera. So line it up right on top. Pick that up. And now we're going to stamp it in full strength, polished pink, without stamping off first. Look at that. Can you guys see how gorgeous that is? Now on my sample, I think I used um, Melon Mambo and polished pink. And I didn't like the way it took. It was kind of muddled. Um, so after playing, this was the first card I made with this bundle. So after playing around with it, I, I realized that stamping off in the same color was the best option. So that's why my sample looks a little bit different. Okay, so let's take that off this time. Um, these are magnets, they'll hold your stamp down. You can tell these photopolymer stamps are sticky. Um, that's just the way they come. So you have to use those magnets to make sure you get a good, um, you know, hold and it's not going to pick up your paper. All right, so for the leaves, I want to make sure I have enough room here. Okay, there. Is that right? Let's see. I want to make sure I have them. Okay, yes. Yeah, so there's the, the solid image. So I'm going to carefully pick that up. Again, we're going to do that lighter tone first. So I'm going to ink it in garden green. Take my grid paper, lay it down. And then pick it up and lay it down again. Okay, there we go. Now I can take this one and line it up like that. So let's take this one off. And this is the top layer. So I'm gonna do it in full strength. Okay. 
there we go. And see those white spaces at first when I did this, I thought, oh, I didn't line it up right. Those white spaces are supposed to be there. It's part of the art. So don't, don't worry too much about those. All right. So now let's move all of this out of the way. We're going to also stamp the pot and we're going to do that in crumb cake. And it's just one layer. So I don't need to worry about using that stamparatus right there in crumb cake. And then we've got a cute little um, sign that goes down into the pot. I'm gonna stamp that in memento. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna stamp the sentiment right there in the middle just for you. I love those. There's several little sentiments in this set that will fit in that, um, in that little sign. Okay, so let me bring over the cut and emboss machine. I have my magnetic platform here ready to go that's going to hold my dies in place. And we're going to need <clears throat> this die right here. Make sure you look at all points lining up the stem, these little guys, all of it. Okay, now I stamp these too close, so I can't cut those out at the same time. So we'll have to run it through twice. I do that all the time. I stamp my images too close to get those dies um, to fit at the same time. Surely I'm not the only one that does that, right? All right. There we go. Let's get those. And we will run this one through with this die. I just can't get over how detailed these images are. All right. Now, while we have the cut and emboss machine here, we are going to cut out that layer, that split card layer die. Um, I actually made this card, and then I noticed online a lot of people were using this um, die with the pot of geraniums. So I don't know, we all had the same exact thought. It looks really good, like a lattice or something on a porch. It's really neat. I'm going to go through twice just because each one of those is a cutting surface and we want to make sure that we get a good cut in there. So running it through twice just gives you one extra turn to, you know, really make sure everything is cut. All right, so now you want to grab your, <laughs> mine was buried, sorry. You want to grab your um, die brush here. This is attached to my take your pick tool. This will get most of those little doodads out. This is the foam mat that comes with it. All right, we've got a few little hanger honors, little Klingons. So I'm going to get those out. There we go. All right. And now I think we're ready to start putting this card together. I've got a Melon Mambo card base with our split card. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit, just a thin layer of liquid glue down here. I want this edge to sit, but I don't want to have too much glue that's going to squirt through. All right. And then I can put... I can be a little more generous over here. I like to spread, kind, kind of spread it with the tip of the glue. Might have put too much there. All right, let's see. Now we're gonna set it down right in the middle of the card, like that. And if I hold it down for just a second, it will stick. There we go. All right, I think I'll put an ink pad on top of that and let it sit. Get it nice and dry. All right, now for our geranium, I'm gonna use dimensionals for this. I'm gonna start with my pot and let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a couple of dimensional, dimensionals on the back and then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna kind of pick it up with those dimensionals. All right, so it's kind of stuck there and I can get it right where I want it, like that, all right? Now, we'll put the dimensionals 
on the back of the leaves or the stems. And we're gonna put that right there. And now we'll put these flowers right on top. The, you know, if you've never seen a geranium before, the flowers kind of pop up over the greenery. They um, stick up kind of high. And I, you know, I don't know these, should, should we put them in the front? Should we put them in the back? I'm not sure. I think we're gonna do like that, like they're underneath, okay? And then let's get our little sign. And because of our dimensionals, nope, we can do that right there. Sometimes you have to cut the sign because of where you put the dimensionals. So just watch out for that. Um, we're gonna put a mini dimensional behind that right there. All right, and then I'm gonna add a linen thread bow. Just a small one. All right, grab my glue dots. And we'll put that right there on the edge of the pot. Okay. Now let's bring back over our card base and get some dimensionals for this guy. And put that right there, kind of kind of overlapping, but still towards the bottom corner. Now I pulled out my brushed brass butterflies because I thought they were perfect to go with this. I'm just gonna put a couple up here in the corner. Like that. And then on the inside, I've got a piece of basic white and that's where we're gonna put our sentiment, our birthday sentiment birthdays are reminders that life should be celebrated and we'll just put that inside i tried to put the sentiment on the front but i just didn't want to cover up that cute plant and so i decided we'll put it on the inside all right there you go i hope you enjoy this project and i hope you'll give your potted um geraniums a try thanks everybody bye bye